A Message to the Intercessors of Nigeria, Part 1 When we prayed for clarity regarding the upcoming elections, I saw myself in an arena. A crowd was seated and they were about to watch two bulls fight. The bulls looked identical. Both had very red eyes and they looked very angry. I heard, the game has begun. Immediately, a red flag was dropped and the bulls were released from their cages. They came out and began to fight aggressively. I and a group of people were not in the crowd. We stood inside the arena very close to where the bulls were fighting. I had an impression that the people with me were intercessors. We watched the bulls at very close range compared to others who were watching from afar. I saw that the bulls fought mainly with their horns. They were both very much alike in strength too, so nobody could really tell which of them was going to win. They went back and forth, hitting each other with their horns. Then I saw that one of the horns of one of the bulls was breaking off. The other bull hit it again with a lot of force and the horn broke off. The winning bull then hooked his own horn to the remaining horn of the other bull and then turned him into a fire that was by the side. Shortly after the stunt, the winning bull also got his leg burnt by the same fire. I understood that the bulls, which represented two main candidates, were both going to be hurt since they were both not willing to give up. During the fight, I saw a brown goat and I had the impression that it represented another candidate. It came and sat down by the side because it didn't seem to have as much strength as the two bulls. At some point in the vision, I felt a hand drag me from that arena. It seemed like I and the intercessors were not supposed to be there. It seemed like the bullfight was almost a useless battle. After I felt the hand pull me from that arena, I found myself in a room. It looked like a sitting room, but at the same time, it also felt like I was in heaven. The room seemed very comfortable. There were a lot of people in it and they were watching a big screen. We were all wearing white clothes. I had the impression that these people were intercessors for Nigeria. I saw that different ones of them were paying very close attention to what was being displayed on the screen. They kept asking, is this the person? Is it this person? It seemed like they were all asking the same questions in their hearts. I could hear their questions out loud. Who is going to win? Whose picture is going to appear? Whose picture is going to appear? I saw an angel appear. He just stood beside the TV and he was holding a treasure chest. Different people tried to reach that chest so they would find out what was inside. I think the name of the person who would win the elections was in the chest. When I tried to also reach the chest and look into it, the impression I had was a question, why do you want to say it? While still in that sitting room, I heard, you're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to go and lock up the gate. I kept having this impression that I was to leave that room, then go downstairs and lock up the doors to different rooms. The understanding that came to me was that it had to do with protecting the nation. I heard, the thief is coming, and when he comes, he is going to strike if the gates are open. So the emphasis was that we were not to focus on staying in that sitting room and watching the TV. We were to actually carry out the duties of watchmen. We were to go into the city and lock up the gates. After I heard this, It looked like I actually went downstairs. Then I realized that it was not as bright downstairs as it was in the living room upstairs where I had been. While the living room was very comfortable and nice, the underground area that I was taken to looked like a sewer. There were rats and snakes there. I needed a torch to move around and see the doors that needed to be locked. The impression I had was that more prayers had to be made for Nigeria. Then I saw the shape of the map of Nigeria. It was encrusted on the earth like a mold. The mold was a representation of Nigeria and I understood that whatever affected the mold affected Nigeria. There were different rifts in the mold. 
It was cracked on different sides. Then I saw the rift at the upper segment of the map, and it seemed like they had joined together. I had the impression that we were to pray continually for the different rifts in the country to be joined together. Then I remembered prayers that we had made for the major tribes in Nigeria, how we had prayed for healing. I felt that the healing would help to close the different portals in the nation that would have let in negative things into the nation. I had the impression that those doors were portals and in the past the enemies had tried to come into the country through them. If these portals were closed now, it did not matter who was trying to open them to give access. The doors would remain shut because it had been sealed ahead of time. I saw that the different rifts in that mode of Nigeria had been closed. Shortly afterwards, I saw a man come to the middle of that eastern mold of Nigeria. He tried to stab the mold with a stick. The impression I had was that if that stick goes in, it will crush the nation completely and reduce it to sand. There would still be a shape of Nigeria, but it would only be dust. It would not be firm again. I saw that the more we fix those rifts by praying for Nigeria and her different sectors, the more we fortify the country. Thus, no matter how powerful that stick may be, it would not destroy the country. Its effect on the country would be greatly reduced because of the prayers made over Nigeria. 9th June 2022, Sister B.A. Gam Watch. <laughs>